Okay, okay, can you guys see that fucking badass intro right there? Because that was the most badass intro I've ever seen in my life. Uh, hey guys, welcome to Let's Play E6 Ark of Nashpishtim. I think that's how it's pronounced. I've never actually gotten an official pronunciation on this game before. So I'm going to be calling it Ark of Nashpishtim until someone can actually give me the official pronunciation. Now, in the horrible PS2 port, it was actually still, uh, it was actually pronounced Nashpishtim, so I, I don't know. But I, I want some clarification on that, just starting this LP. Um, if I'm pronouncing Napish Tim wrong, I'm sorry. So yeah, it all wakes on an island after a boat crash. Like probably every other East game. Yeah, he's at all the radio. He's like the strongest, badassest, most person in the world. If that's a way to describe things. And again, I'm never good at describing things. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, this is my third East project. Technically second, because, you know, some people will consider East 1 and 2 the same game. They aren't. Though East 2 is the only direct sequel ever created. And on this one, you crash an island in the, uh... Yeah, kind of... I don't know where it would take place in the East World, actually. I could probably pull up a map, but I, I don't know if it's, like, the most accurate thing in the world. She ran away. She's afraid of people. That's okay, I'm afraid of people too. I never leave my bedroom because I'm so afraid of people. And up here is Ola. But she did not respond and then she responds. That's a really good translation there, duder. Three days. Eh, I, I've done worse. Uh, one time in college, I actually uh, played Xenoblade Chronicles for like 72 hours straight. And then I slept for five days straight. Kinda. Uh, yeah, I have some questions like... Uh, well, no, nah, that's nothing really important. You know, this is the problem with this game. Is this game has a lot of those, oh, hey, here's a bunch of questions. Can you answer them? You sure it's all wouldn't trust an Asterion otherwise? Okay. You know, these guys don't trust me. And luckily, unlike the last East game, you are not required to speak to every... Oh, hey, it's Isha. And she runs off because she's afraid of me. All right, we're here now. I want to discuss some things, though. Uh, unlike the first East game, where the first two East games where there's a bump system that no longer exists. There is now a dedicated swing the sword button thing. So if you want to swing the button to attack with your sword. Yeah, that's that's what's in this game now. I don't probably didn't explain that well, but but that's fine. I never explain things well because that's the kind of person I am. Um So yeah, this way I'm going isn't too important. But I'm gonna see if I can find some items out here and crap. That's very important. Or at least get myself a level up. One thing you can do in this game is jump on enemies and stuff. But yeah, this is very much more hack and slashy than, uh, say, 
East 1 and 2. And the, uh... I mean, I didn't play them because I didn't want to go... Because I'm going to do the most up-to-date version of these games. I would never tell you to, you know... I'm going to say right now, do not play the original versions of these 3, 4, and 5. Well, I mean, they're still only the original version of these 5 at this point in time. But if it ever comes down to it, uh, don't play East 5 because it's bad. But, I will get to the remakes of East 3 and 4 inevitably. So, for those of you wondering why I started with 6, uh, make no mistakes, those will come inevitably. Um, just not now. Those will be uh, a thing at some point. Uh, I do not believe there is a... Uh, but I could be wrong, but I do not believe there is a character log in this game. I might be wrong. Uh, I thought that was a thing I'd never seen before. You can go down here. And there's some characters down here. But, uh, there's not really much you can do in this area right now. I don't even know why I came over here. Um. Then you can head out this way. I wonder how the other direction, actually, though, yeah? Let's just pass by this thingy real quick. And, unlike East 1 and 2, where you can save wherever you want, in this game you have to save at these checkpoints. I'm going to go ahead and start a save file. Sorry about that noise, I'm going to cut that out, probably. Still live in this uh, apartment complex where people like to blare their music really loudly. <laughs> That's going to be a thing. Head out this way. I don't think there's really anything important out this way, but I'm gonna I'm gonna touch it anyway. I'm gonna go there anyway. Just cause why not? You see those guys right there? Do not touch them. They will murder you. And murdering is bad for you. Okay. I leveled up. Nice. So out here is a bridge. Well, it was a bridge. No longer is a bridge, but it will be something soon. I see you're back on your feet. You've recovered much more swiftly than I've I'd expected. Though you're still nothing more than a powerless erasion, you must have undergone some manner of training. Ah, um, thanks for letting me rest in the village, duder. As I've said once before, you have no reason to thank me. Ula was the one who found and treated you. While others may have assisted, I kept my distance. As far as I'm concerned, you're an unwanted guest, and you should leave the moment you're able. Unfortunately, with the bridge in its current state, the island you see is called Canaan Island. It is roughly twice the size of this one, and on its eastern shore is a stone town built by Eurasians. You'll be able to meet more of your tailless brethren there. But for now, you remain stranded here. As you can see, the bridge is currently impossible to cross. This did not occur naturally. The ropes show clear signs of being burned. What's more, did the confusion, during the confusion caused by the bridge collapse, something very important to us vanished in the field from the village. This was nearly a month ago. Naturally, we read I have no reason to do such a thing, which leaves only the Eurasians as potential culprits. I doubt that you have any connection to this, considering you washed ashore a mere three days ago. But surely even you can understand why your presence in the villagers makes the villagers wary, can you not? 
mm, I guess it's still racist. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. Uh, racism. Why do people like racism so much? Whatever, we're doing just fine. Do I got any items right now? I got this, a Checo Nut. So, yeah, Ark of Napish Tim, as I was saying earlier, there at least the first of the three games to play on this style. Um, and it's really good. Though this game will kick your ass if you're not good at it. East 6 is also the only one that plays in this style where you can, you know, equip items to use in battle. In, in a sense that you can use healing items during battle, anyway. Um, the other two games in this franchise are the only one where you cannot recover during battle ever. Unless you have a one-time use item. But, uh... I intend to play... And there is also a mode in this game called Catastrophe Mode. Where you can actually play in the style of later games. But, I chose not to right now. As I feel E6 is not meant to be played like that. Because the game goes from just extremely difficult in this mode to kind of to very difficult. And I don't want a let's play where I'm screaming and cussing the whole time. That is my least favorite kind of let's play. Uh, I don't know if you guys like that. Maybe people enjoy it when people scream and cuss. I don't know. I can't say I really care for it myself. I mean, I kind of want to be personality and stuff like that, but... And, and I'm gonna, you know... You know be, I'm the type of person who screams and cusses when I play games, but... Um, I don't want to be... Oh, here we go, another thing. We got another cutscene. I'm not even gonna try a mock girl's accent. Boys, got it? Yeah, I didn't expect I'd wander this far either. That's, uh, yeah, I guess you did worry for nothing. I'm, I'm okay. I have not seen Isha, besides at the entrance. Yeah, um, I guess she's shy. That happens. Um, people are shy sometimes. I can't really blame her, you know? Things happen to people sometimes that make them just shy. I relate to her in some way, yeah. Uh, let's off screen back to the shore because, uh, we've already seen everything so far. So I'll see you guys in a second. Well, your time anyway. Actually, you know what? Back at the village, there is one thing I need to get real quick. And I think this one is pretty important. Let's save up real quick. Do I have 199? I don't remember how much it is, but over here is a shop. K 
Kevin? Yeah, yeah I know plenty of those. <laughs> Can I afford it now? Yes, I can. When you get a hundred G, you want to buy that. And you want to equip it. All right, Um. so I'm gonna go out back to the beach now. So out this way is the beach we went to, yeah? And on the beach moonset shores, you will see Isha. I, I uh, uh, all this looking for you. So yeah, that's a thing. Um, one other thing before we head out to, we need to head back to the Fountain of Prayers, but before we do that, I feel it is important to, we grabbed a honey, eh? And that honey is actually the second best healing item. It heals 50 HP. I don't know if I want to jump over this thing. Ew. I think I might be in a place I don't want to be. Yeah, okay. Head and back. We're done. I'm not messing with this right now. I'll meet you guys at the fountain. Oh, actually, here it is. A uh, herb. The H is silent for some reason. I'll see you guys at the fountain. Alright, so here we are back at the fountain area, and the music's gone. And when the music's gone, that's usually not a good sign of things. So I recommend we save up, and I'm going to end the video off right here. Next time on Let's Play E6, we shall see why the music disappeared. I will see you guys then.